Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is A-Train 9 version 4. Uh, you join me in one of the newer areas that I've been working on lately, um, but I'm, I'm basically sat waiting right now for a 600 million, yeah, 600 million dollar yen, whatever currency this is, tax bill. Um, largely because uh, the number of buildings I own in my fair city uh, uh, is starting to become extensive. Uh, let's, should we do a should we do a quick trip around a train track? Maybe uh, should we do that? Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, train window, please. Off we go. Um, yeah, so there's been plenty of growth. Um, I've spent most of the time in between the last episode and this one actually preparing for this episode because I've got something relatively specific in mind and it should be kind of cool when it's done. Uh, but uh, once, once I've seen enough of this bit of track, I like to take you around a bit of track to start with. Uh, I'll take you through today's grand scheme, such as it is. Um, before we get to that, I want to pause at this section just for a moment. Uh, this is on the the loop that leads through the uh, the kind of the heavy uh, industrial area and the the big kind of city block that I built recently. Uh, office office kind of area, commercial. Uh, I guess that's what you call it. Um, this station is not yet developed, and there's a reason for that, and that reason is right here i don't know what i'm doing with this bit yet now if we follow this onwards if we follow this onwards you can see it cuts a swathe right across the center of the map if you look to your to kind of top right ish you'll see the map as we uh, as we move along it now i haven't figured out where this is going yet um but we are working this line right now um as you'll see in a moment uh, here is the core line, the, the main line that we've been playing with, with its ridiculous loop on the end in order to turn trains around. Um, it works just fine, and equally, this one's heading off up here. Well, there's, you know, some, some nice destinations it could go, but realistically, where I, I, you know, I want to, to head across basically all the land we've got, in order to make a, a, a relatively busy line, uh, because the terminals at either end are going to get pretty well stocked up. I guess we're, we're done following trains then, huh? You're now looking around the map, so let's let's crack on and, and get on with the next bit. Alright, so, uh, yes, uh, I went a bit mad with bridges. Um, I can't say for certain that, you know, they look amazing. I think once the area is populated out with uh, with tower blocks and buildings and the rest of it, then then it may come into its own. Okay, so uh, so right now it does look a bit well daft, frankly. Uh, you know, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of bridge action going on. Um, here's another station. So this is going to be uh, let's let's show the route. So we've got this station that isn't developed with the end that doesn't go anywhere. Heads through this little bit of forced tunnel out to this second station and then one more over here which goes across the glorious bridge that we put up last time around and then it finishes up here right now and in fact I'm gonna finish it off right now because this is going to be a terminal I know a terminal of all things uh, two two feels a little bit ungenerous really doesn't it the question is where am I gonna send the other two tracks so here we go, there we go, it's the end of the line. Do I want the other two tracks? Where would they go? You see, I thought I'd, I thought I'd considered this already. So we could come out around here, peel off in a, a more aggressive angle, and then cut a, cut a path over to here somewhere. All right, let's leave that open as an option. Uh, better to have it as an option and not do it than not have it as an option and want to do it. Uh, there's some logic in there somewhere. Uh, six. No, we're going to need a bit longer than that. An eight. There we go. Pull it in. Jolly good. Now that that's I mean that's the glorious thing about stations is they don't actually cost you any resources to put up in the first place. But here's the big goal. As you can see, I have smoothed off this uh, this side of the land. I have I've squared it off because this is going to be an area of very heavy construction. Uh, yes, indeed, container ports is what I'm about. Now, my understanding is that these ports will actually bring in goods, but I'm going to need some... Or am I? Can I just go... 
no I can't so I want both a port and a container port out here uh, is there anything more entertaining than that fishing harbour well how's that going to look well, that could be alright we could maybe sneak that in there so yes this is going to be my, my coastal edifice the uh, the reason being that I've already got a bridge here that hopefully shipping can get underneath assuming that there are any shipping models in the game and that is something I've not seen uh, I leave it to your discretion whether to uh, whether to spoil the surprise or not however uh, my my expectation is probably not so much on the uh, on the ship models given that uh, I have previously built a, a heliport and uh, never once have I seen a helicopter in this game I mean, you know, how, how hard can it be, frankly, to, to model a quick helicopter? I, you, I'm hardly one to criticise, given that I can't model a helicopter. Um, anyway, why, why are you... I'll tell you, the roads in this game, they try me. Look, I want you to form a nice... Oh, stuff it. Let's just put one of those on there. And then uh, I'm going to need a station of the, uh, of the loading bay variety. Thank you. Uh, and I guess, well, what have we got here? No, maybe that might do the trick. I, uh, I mean, the, the only reason to get, you know, in any way finicky about the, the distribution center in question is, uh, is purely to, uh, avoid, um, uh, avoid turning around and trying to hit the same station twice. So to start with, I'm going to set up a, uh, a you know enough goods distribution about here just to get this started. Now that's possibly overkill using a large, but uh, I'm not uh, renowned for my subtlety. Now I'm also going to well, am I really? It's a heck of a long way. I think I probably am. Um, yeah, I'm going to import the goods to make that from elsewhere. Now, I could use a train to do so, but historically, the the amount of payoff you get from shipping goods by train is really quite limited, because uh, in no time flat, you've built all the things you need to build. So you've built all this rail infrastructure, you've built depots, you've built all of this stuff, and it's done in no time flat. But, you know, when it comes down to it, where's the one I want? Why is it I'm having difficulty negotiating my own map? I'll see it in a sec. It's going to be it's going to be around somewhere. I've got a I've got a really good depot system set up somewhere. Uh where are we? You know, you've you've looked here. It's not all the way back over here, is it? Uh come on, you map it over here. No, this isn't it. I will find it. We will find. Well, we will find it together. It's it's across a bridge. Uh, that looks promising. What are you? No, nope, you're not it either. Ah, oh, aha. Although this does allow me to to partially remember the bit of track that it sits on, which is over here. There we go. Right, good. Yes, marvellous. Right, so now I need to figure out where this guy is going. He does have a bit of a trek ahead of him, but mostly it's... Uh, let's... Uh, no, let's do a... 10-minute wait time. Yeah, no, 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 wait. No, no, you're looking at the wrong thing. Train, trucks and doodars. Here we go. Now, um, I, I'm not going to, you know, sit and make you wait through hours of this stuff. What I'll do is I'll get this rolling and then we'll either fast forward through it. Uh, Timetable, that assistant. No, I don't need to save. Okay, stop for 15 minutes. We'll do. Load them up. Right, think about the route before you start off. Good pro tip there. Think about the route. Where are we going? We're going up over that way. So, okay, right, let's go. And let's up the tempo just a touch. 
can't help. No, no, we are in business. Okay, doke, we're off. And immediately gone the wrong way. Excellent. Uh, okay, well, yeah, we can do that. I'll fix that on the return leg, I guess. Yep, left. Let's drive somewhat faster, shall we? Wow, this guy really is is not the uh, not the speediest speediest car on the grid. Uh, nope, straight. You're going a long way. I suggest you put your foot down. Right here we go. Right now, where next? Take the next bridge. All right. Uh, yes. All right. Yeah, we can probably do that. Uh, that's a rail bridge, though. All right. Well, what are my choices here? Are we now isolated? Oh, no, no, we're going to have to go. <laughs> this route is becoming um, ridiculous in a hurry. Uh, come on, continuous. Right, I need to go over there. So I should have... Ah, oh, heck, I should have turned left. Mm. I can't get down that way. I did. <sighs> All right, yep. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, this is all good. Yeah, you're going to take me over here, aren't you? Yes, you are. Right, uh, let's turn left round here. To be honest, this is the point at which uh, a crossover with American trucks in would be jolly good fun. Uh, I'd be, you know, cursing out the sat-nav like there's no tomorrow. Right, straight. And what we shall endeavour to do is uh, is repair this. No, 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 straight on. Because obviously, uh, as much as getting to its destination is the important bit, uh, equally, getting there in under, you know, two, three days is uh, is advantageous. I think I might have to call this timetable assistant manager. Right, turn right. Right, and then when you get to the tunnel... No, it's the next one. All right, turn right again. Here we go. Yeah, I remember where I'm going now. Yeah, straight again. And then right. Did you ever get the impression that actually this is a really, really long way? Right, that ends in a dead end. And this is, this is something I've talked about before, is uh, being able to actually plot your route is challenging, to say the least. I want to get up on this big flyover here. Uh, where does that tunnel come out? Straight through the other side, and then we can get on that. Yeah, okay, that one looks good. Right, so we're going to go up to there. So left, please. And then left again at the next one. Bit of straight over, bit of right, through the tunnel, lovely, up and over, yeah. All right, now we're heading towards the bridge. Uh, yeah, let's go right. Actually, left would have been a better move there, but never mind. It's all good. Of course, I do have to find my way back again afterwards, and that's going to be equally challenging. No, wrong road. You're on the wrong road. Oh, nuts. All right, well, how do I get on the right road? The right road's down there. Actually, I might not have been able to get on the right road any earlier, so let's uh, let's just see where we go here. Which one do we want, under or over? Yeah, you see, I would have liked to link those two up, so I think we're going to chance going under. If this doesn't happen, of course, I, we'll, we'll write this off as a bad job and try something else. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? That looks promising. Big bridge. There we go. Left. Right, there we go. Gravity-defying bridge. And arrive. First load. Uh, unload, please. All right, now let's see if we can get back again with less hassle involved. 
doubtful is uh, is the answer there. Now, where are we going? We're generally going over in that direction, aren't we? We're, well, in fact, there's the skyscraper that we want to head for. So we're heading across here somewhere. Uh, what are my choices? I quite like the looks of this left. And then take that right. All right, let's give that a try and see what happens. At this point, if I can just make it back, I, I'll, I'll probably even not bother fixing it, and it can take this ridiculous route to get out there. I know, you're all yelling at me for it being unprofitable, but, uh, uh, but you know, once I've got half a dozen trucks on the route, then it should be okay. Uh, we'll go straight to avoid some of these junctions. Uh, yes, right again. Thank you. Uh, okay, now we have to go under the tunnel. So left and then straightish. Yes. Ah, now, given that there's a truck behind us, I'm going to gamble on this actually being the route. And therefore, this guy should already have it plumbed in. He's no, no, he's trying to turn left when we want to go right. Oh well, so much for that theory. It was uh, it was a noble thought, but hey, we're actually pretty close now. Uh, keep going straight. And actually, this return route is much much faster. Uh, this is the right turn, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I have to do uh, as soon as possible, really, is uh, I, I need to um, remove some of the aging depots that I've got going on, because even though they are stock full of goods, right, we're there. I'm going to leave that guy going. Right, let's copy that. What number are you? 26. Okay, 26. Paste. All right, and you, 28. Yeah, you can have it as well. And as for you, number 30. Have a wild guess. In fact, all of you chaps. I'm not entirely sure why you're not picking up the timetable. Where are you? It's a Saturday. Maybe I'd said weekdays only. In which case, uh, are you uh, are you timetable assistant already? No, no, no. You're fine. No, not that one. Close that. Let's try someone who's a bit closer. How about you? Yes, weekdays only. Right, daily. Don't worry, I'm not going to follow it again. I am, I'm done with following this stuff for the time being. Copy. Right, uh, next. 28. Paste. 30. Paste. We're going to get some some movement happening here. See, including the ridiculous opening move, I'm I'm leaving it on. It because in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't use up that much more time. Right, let's uh let's track our progress here and see where we get to. Look for yeah, here we go. We're going going for a quick tour around the island as you do. And frankly, why wouldn't you? And then all the way out here is our destination. Now, we need uh, a lot, if I recall. Uh, where are we? Container port 60 for a container port, 75 for a regular port. Now, I'm going to build both. I figure if I'm going to have a port, let's, uh, let's get them all done in one go. So let's up the tempo. Apologies for the strobing daylight. It's not running at ridiculous speed, but it is going quite fast. Anyway, look, here we go. See, stuff's arriving. So what's that? That's eight. That's 16. Hey, look, it's not going to take forever. It's going to take close to forever, but, uh, but not, in fact, forever. Right, while that's going, I'm actually going to do something else. Uh, I'm going to get a train going. And the AI seems to have taken it upon itself to build some road, which is always a pleasure, actually. Uh, train, let's... Now, do we have anybody not working at the moment? No, everybody's in business. Well, that's good. 
Right, let's build... Oh, I don't know. Let's have something novel. Uh, now, what we want is we want a, a, an 8 configuration, given that that's how much space we said we've got. Let's go with passenger trains and do something interesting. I want something, something unusual looking. That's pretty unusual looking. I also want something that carries a fair few passengers. I mean, it does a six, or a, in fact, the six is ugly. No! Give me something else. Oh, this magnificent red number might be the job. It's not very fast, though, is it? In fact, fast is the one thing it isn't. See, I'm going to be drawn towards the AR4 unless I'm very careful. All right, this guy could go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, could, we could get some mileage out of this one. 1,064. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, I only want one for the moment. Uh, let's uh, let's ease the speed down for a tick. And we're going to place on here. Right, let's... And on the timetable, that assistant. Right, let's slow it up some. Here we go. Right, stop. Load out and go. Get on and off. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and we'll allow an hour at each station. Just purely because these stations are not yet well populated. I did get a long enough station in there. Good. Right, and then at the next one... So the next one's going to prove to be challenging once I'm running multiple trains along this route. Uh, simply because we do have this uh, this two-way split. I'm going to take the branch, please. Not that it really matters at this point, because you're, you're flying solo. Reverse, and an hour wait. Let's go. Equally, running it throughout day and night is not going to make me um, large amounts of money. Uh, all I'm really doing is just advertising to the AI that... Uh, that this is now a live service. Uh, another hour wait, please. Not to mention, of course, that it's always worth having more trains going. Up and over. Excellent. Right, an hour wait. Getting on and off. It doesn't have a choice in the matter because it can't go any further, so that will do the job. Now, I suspect quite strongly, right now, he's going to be carrying nobody. Let's see. In fact, on that whole route, it made a grand total of $17. <sighs> yes, we're going to want to build up this area. But, look, while we've been doing that, we have made a fair bit of, uh, of resources back again. Now, what I'm hoping is that this container port actually turns into a delivery me mechanism for, uh, for further goods. So let's place it right out here. All right, let's uh, let's see what we get now. If I up the tempo again, yell if you see anything, you know, ship shape. Well, so far, not an awful lot going on as far as the container port is concerned. Now, there is some limitation with regards to container ports actually working. Uh, that being the depth of the sea nearby uh, and the access to the edge of the map. Now, that's the edge of the map. And I thought that the... Uh, the amount of uh, the amount of depth that I'd allowed out here was going to be sufficient, but uh, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm just going to make doubly sure, and we'll uh, we'll waste some money digging some of it out. Uh, let's go. No, yeah, yeah, that's definitely it. Right, let's steady. Do not wreck the main coastline. Let's decrease that a little bit. And of course, now we're working at an angle where it's actually very hard to see what I'm removing. Oh, no, 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 there we go. I can see what I'm removing. Right, all the way under there. Plenty of it. 33 million this has cost me so far. Well, only if I accept it, of course. Right, that's deepened this 
quite significantly. I mean, a 60 meter depth, in fact, 80 meter depth, no, 60 meter depth, I'm using 80 meter radius. I'll spend, I'll spend 50 million, and that's a lot. I'm not going to spend more than that. All right, well, I'm going to spend 65 million. There we go. Let's see if that makes any difference at all. Now, we will know if I get any sales, right? That's, that's a, a good way of measuring stuff. Anyway, it's there, it's up, it's running. Uh, and I should have about enough to build its neighbouring regular port. Which I guess has, has kind of passenger connotations. Oh, hello, what was that? Why were you giving me some highlight there? I don't know, but let's get those relatively close to one another and bang it in. Okay, right. Well, we'll see if they pay off. Um, you know, what would be nice is because I thought they brought goods in. Now, maybe that bridge is not actually tall enough to let stuff in. It certainly looks like it should be. And maybe I've just been spoilt by uh, the likes of, uh, of Mr. City Skylines, which doesn't care a hoot, a fig, not a, not a jot of, of care is given towards uh, container ships that, you know, uh, look like they're trying to pass under a bridge and then go straight through the middle of it. Um, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, and you'll have to wait until next time to find out how this pans out. Uh, I'm... I, I don't want to do that. I want to put a straight road over here, which means sorting those trucks out again. All right, I'll tell you what. I shall spare you. I, I will spare you the trauma of watching trucks being timetabled once more. And I'll do that while you're away. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Only a little bit of progress, but this all leads towards the end of this particular line, at which point we can start cutting across the map instead of filling out this bottom corner, which is what we've done so far. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, chuck us a like, subscribe if you've not done so already, and I'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.